All right. So what is React Native? React Native is basically a UI library that lets you build native web applications. Now, I want to be very clear with this. React Native is not something that gives you an HTML5 CSS application. There are many things that give you this kind of uh, behavior, like HTML, CSS apps with like Apache Cordova or stuff like Ionic. You can get those things. The difference is that with React Native, the application, it is actually native. It's actually Objective-C and it's actually Java. Objective-C in the case of iOS and Android, uh, iOS and Apple, and Java in the case of Android. So that is something that not a lot of people understand and they think that because it's JavaScript, um, they think that um, it's not native. At the end of the day, whenever the app in React Native finishes compiling and everything, it gets executed by the native code of iOS and Android, by Objective-C and um, Java. Now, the way React Native works is that we, in our end, we write JSX and we write JavaScript. And at the back, this JavaScript gets turned into Java or Objective-C by the wonderful people of Facebook. All right. So they write all these bridges. We call it bridge, a bridge. They call, they write all these bridges between our JavaScript and iOS, Objective-C or Android. All right. As you can see here, it's almost the same as what we saw on the React free course that we had here. We see React, we see component, but the difference is that we are using another package and this package is called React Native. And now there's a different thing. Just like on the web, we have this in span and stuff like that. On React Native, we have views and text and different other components that are made by Facebook for us and they turn into native code. But these are these are them. Now, something very cool about React Native is that we can work with JavaScript. That's the first thing. The second thing is that the community is big as fuck. The third thing is that many many companies are using React Native. Sorry, are using React Native already. Companies like Instagram, companies like Airbnb, companies like even Facebook, they have React Native on their apps. Artsy is another company. If you want to see how many companies are using React Native, all you have to do is go to Showcase. Where is Showcase? React Native. As it, these are the companies that are using right now React Native on their applications. Facebook, Ads Manager, Instagram, F8, Walmart, Skype, I didn't know that, Tesla, Artsy, Bloomberg, Airbnb, Discord, Delivery.com, Gyroscope, List, SoundCloud, Uber Eats, that's cool. So React Native is used by people. It's not some fucked up framework that nobody uses. It's used by people and it's tested every day on millions of devices. The best part of React Native is that you can share a lot of code between your iOS and your Android apps. It's lovely, 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 the way you can share code. Because you write once, and with some small modifications, you can have a multi-platform um, app. It's just perfect. And if we go here, you can see the components and the APIs that they have already for us, ready for us. So for example, as you can see here, we see all the components that they made for us, apart from the APIs. And let's check out this one, for example, picker. So this is how a picker looks like. All right, and it renders, as you can see, a native picker on iOS and Android. You know the word render now. If you if you know React JS already, you know the word render. You know what that means for us. Um, we can have web views, we can have text inputs, we can have switches, we can have API. Like there's a shit ton of APIs, as you can see, networking, geolocation, Image editor, that's awesome, I didn't know that shit. List views, modals, keyboard building, is insane. So everything here, it's already going to go to the platform that we want, iOS and Android. Some of things don't work on Android, some things don't work on iOS, but overall, the people that use React Native use it mostly because it's so easy to develop on it. 
The developer experience on Xcode is shit in my opinion. It takes a long time to refresh, it takes a long time to compile, there is no hot model replacement, there is no auto refresh. From what you will see here, you will see that we are going to make an app and it's going to be as easy as making a website. And the best part also is that the layout system of React Native works with Flexbox. That's right, fucking Flexbox on React Native. So you build layouts for mobile with Flexbox. That for me is just awesome. All right, so that's React Native. Um, very happy to try this right now. The current version is 0 0.48. They have uh, two weeks. Every two weeks they make a new release and they, still, they, they change a lot of things. Um, that's it. See you on the next one.